requiem eternam. Dona eis domine. On this day, five years ago, Pope Francis celebrated All Souls Day at the Laurentino Cemetery in Rome. His homily still rings true today. All Souls Day is a day of memory that takes us back to our roots. It is also a day of hope. It reminds us of what we can expect, the hope of encountering the love of the Father. Beginning with the Feast of All Saints and the commemoration of All Souls, the entire month of November has long been dedicated to the faithful departed those who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. As the Catholic Church teaches, the sign of faith is the indelible mark that comes with baptism. In the Catholic Church, this liturgical tradition has its origin in the prayers and remembrance of Catholic communities in the early Middle Ages. The idea, however, is more ancient, found in the Old Testament. It is, therefore, a holy and wholesome thought to pray for the dead. The Church celebrates the saints whom it believes are the Church triumphant, dwelling with God in eternity. Celebrating the Feast of All Saints is a recognition of the communion of saints in the eternal presence of God, with whom we enjoy a continuing relationship in virtue of our common baptism. The Church penitent are the souls of the baptized who have died, awaiting their passage into eternal life in heaven in purgatory. Praying for the holy souls in purgatory also expresses our continual relationship with them because of the baptism we share with those who have gone before us with the sign of faith. Although November is designated as the month of the holy souls in purgatory, praying for them throughout the year is a holy and wholesome thought, indeed a responsibility for all Catholics. Right.